Hi guys. It is a fine spring day. A lovely morning here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. Uh, here in the great <coughs> state of Texas. Uh, and Friday, May 8th, 2020. So this will be the last Friday Manga Bay Roundup rant till further notice here on Collapse Chronicles uh, as this channel gets ready to collapse. And uh, so for a few couple more days, I am Sam Mitchell. This is my little co-pilot, Sancho Panza. And what we do over here for a few more days is we chronicle the collapse of a planet for the few people left on the planet who care about any other subject than how many humans are going to die of the coronavirus. And first, I got to do a little better wind blocking here. I this wind in uh, the spring of 2020. Good Lord, what is going on with the wind? But anywho, uh. So what we do here on Friday, uh, and this will be the last time for the foreseeable future, is we go over to mongabay.com to uh, look at how the planet has been collapsing in the past week with no help from the corona panic. Uh, now there's plenty of information on here how the planet has also been collapsing from the corona panic, but nobody wants to hear about that. All they want to know is how many humans are going to die. So we're not going to talk about how many of our fellow earthlings are dying because of the economic uh, lockdowns from the corona panic. We don't talk about that here. Uh, just because Manga Bay talks about it, we don't, because you don't want to hear it. Anyway, let's start our romp around a collapsing planet. Over there, we're going to start in sub-Saharan Africa and good old Nigeria. No better place to uh, start a romp around a collapsing planet than the poster child of collapse, Nigeria, where we see this shocking... Uh, headline, <coughs> Takeover of Nigerian Reserve Highlights Uphill Battle to Save Forest. This is one more story about one more of these protected areas being taken over by all sorts of planet-eating land grabbers. <coughs> This is the Akuri Afoso Forest Reserve. Yes, home to rare primates <coughs> and, more importantly, valuable timber trees, has some of the highest deforestation rates in the country already. Logging in the protected area is ostensibly prohibited, but sawmills thrive here while farmers who clear land inside the reserve often have their illegal actions legitimized by local authorities. Uh, researchers say poverty and a lack of jobs are at the root of the problem. Hmm. With communities compelled to farm, log, and hunt. Uh, no, the problem is, and the problem is, uh, I need to remember what channel I am on, the problem is breeding. The problem is too many humans being born in Nigeria. People who are never born, never move into protected areas and start cutting them down. Uh, wow. We see the P word. With Nigeria's forest reserves among the few areas in the country still left unfarmed, population pressure. Wow. 
population pressure threatens to drive an influx of newcomers from all around the country into <coughs> these protect. <coughs> Damn it, this dry hacking cough. Can't get through a damn paragraph. Population pressure threatens to drive an influx of newcomers from all around the country into these protected reserves in the competition for arable land. And of course, you can take that story from Nigeria and put it on pretty much any country on this planet. Uh, like here, the same story going on here in the Brazilian Cerrado. Uh, several stories on uh, <coughs> the Brazilian Cerrado that I will be talking about. <coughs> Guys, I don't, <coughs> I don't know what to do with this dry hacking cough and all of this congestion in my lungs. Ugh. All right, let's see. It's time for a story about uh, palm oil. Let's go over to uh, wherever the Dayak tribe lives. I have no idea. Somewhere over there in Asia, the Dayak tribe. Uh, journalist arrested for reporting on palm oil tycoon's alleged land grab. A palm oil company owned by an influential tycoon is embroiled in a conflict with indigenous peoples, the Dayak tribe, that led to the arrest of investigative journalist Dianata Putra Sumede by the police. Uh huh, imagine that. Uh, uh, another uh, group owned by the same palm oil company filed similar complaints against another reporter in 2018. That reporter later died in police custody. Imagine that. Reporters uh, talking about uh, palm oil tycoons in, uh, in conflict with indigenous tribes being arrested and dying in police custody. All right, let's go over there to uh, Colombia. Fracking closes in on impoverished Colombian communities. Do you think so? Uh, residents, especially farmers, fear what will happen to their sources of water with the arrival of a multi-million dollar investment in fracking. Uh, now, I'm not sure this is multi-million dollar investment in fracking uh, is still uh, on the front burner or not. Uh, okay, let's go over to Sumatra. Forest clearing proceeds for dam in Sumatra despite locals' land claims. Road construction for a state-backed hydro dam project has cleared forest in northern Sumatra. Hmm. The Indonesian government says the dam will benefit the locals by providing them with water and electricity. But Many communities are disputing the land acquisition process. Do you think so? Go on and on. Uh, 
This uh, here is a uh, story on uh, shark fins. I am surprised that uh, it's not in Manga Bay. It probably had already gone to press. There's a new story in the mainstream media today that they just had. Is it the biggest farm? The biggest shark fin bust in. It was it in history some huge huge shark fin bust uh, in Hong Kong yesterday uh, busting this ship <clears throat> coming into port with something like 28 tons of shark fin uh, it said how many sharks I think it was 35,000 sharks uh, slaughtered for their fins. Well, we were just talking about hydropower in Asia. Let's go to South America. <clears throat> Massive erosion likely due to hydropower dam causes oil spill in Ecuador's Coca River. Yes. <clears throat> Two months ago, Mangabe reported the disappearance of the San Rafael waterfall. The disappearance. The highest waterfall in Ecuador. Yes. Geologists and hydrologists at the time warned that a phenomenon known as regressive erosion uh, was affecting upstream infrastructure. Well, that was two months ago. Gee, and guess what has now happened? Two oil pipelines <clears throat> broke due to landslides uh, along the river, and there is growing concern over the high rate at which the erosion is continuing. Oil from the ruptured pipelines has now reached the Napo River and contaminated the water for downstream populations. If containment operations fail, which they will, it will reach the Amazon River in Peru. Uh, one expert believes the waterfalls collapse and subsequent heavy erosion event are linked to the Coca Codo Sinclair hydroelectric plant, which was built and financed by China. This is anybody who does not know what the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative means for this planet. You can look for the highest waterfall in the country of Ecuador being obliterated off the planet, oil from ruptured pipelines pouring into the river heading to the Amazon with no way to stop it. That is the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative uh, <clears throat> in action. Uh, we don't want to hear that story. We do not want to hear any story about research on whales being uh, interrupted by doot. Uh, okay. Everything you need to know about the Amazon rainforest. An interview with Mark Plotkin. I, if I ever do come back on air, this dude Mark Plotkin is a good guy to interview, but you can hear an interview with him right here on Manga Bay. As Earth's largest rainforest, the Amazon is the planet's single greatest repository of biodiversity. Uh, blah, blah, blah. A new book, What Everyone Needs to Know. The Amazon, What Everyone Needs to Know, uh, succinctly summarizes all of the issues you know, obliterating the Amazon rainforest uh, off the planet. Uh, as long as we're talking about obliterating the Amazon rainforest off the planet, that was a great segue 
into what is Brazilian President Jair Bozo Nero up to this week. Brazil sacks officials who curbed deforestation on Amazon indigenous lands. The Brazilian government, the Brazilian government of President Jair Bozo Nero has fired two <coughs> Ibama environmental agency coordinators with a history of actually significantly reducing deforestation in indigenous territories in the Zingu River Basin. Um, these, this area saw some of the highest levels of illegal deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon in 2019, but by March of this year, the two had actually managed to start reducing illegal tree loss in one of these uh, protected areas. Uh, so guess what they got for their efforts? They got the pink slip from Bozo Nero Yes, a protest letter from 16 environmental inspectors characterized the latest firings as retaliation and hindering ongoing investigations. The dismissals came after a, a Brazilian TV report featured an operation led by the two officials which resulted in the shutting down of illegal mining and the seizure of a huge weapons cache. Uh, NGOs condemned uh, the dismissals. Uh, now, uh, Bolsonaro uh, had already, already laid off top tier federal environmental and indigenous regulators last year. Now, say critics, Bozo Nero is sacking second and third tier environmental officials in his own government in order to give land grabbers a free hand in the Amazon rainforest. Okay, we do not want to hear how Madagascar's protected areas are suffering a devastating blow from the lockdowns. We do not want to hear about it. It's all good out there. All good. We don't want to see monkey no see, monkey no hear, any news pointing out that the economic lockdowns are killing lemurs in <clears throat> Madagascar. We do not care. Alright, here is uh, more stories on the Cerrado, the, uh, the ecosystem in Brazil nobody has ever heard about. <clears throat> that The Brazilian Cerrado is a vast tropical savanna covering 20% <clears throat> of the nation's landmass. More than half of the Cerrado's native vegetation, most of it biodiverse dry forest, has already been converted to agribusiness, turning it into a breadbasket for Brazil and a key source of soy for China, the EU, and other international markets. Brazilian soy is set to expand by 12 million hectares, that is 30 million acres between now and 2050, with the vast majority of that expansion happening in the Cerrado. Uh, and there you go, but climate change may get the last laugh. We shall see. <clears throat> we do not want to hear.
how Sri Lanka's economic shutdowns are killing our fellow earthlings in Sri Lanka. We don't want to hear it. All right. Uh, we do not want to hear about shh. we do not want to hear what Jane Goodall has to say about the economic uh, lockdowns being bad for this plant. Uh, Jane Goodall is a senile old bat. I, I, you know, if Jane Goodall thinks that uh, that the corona panic is, is bad for chimpanzees in sub-Saharan Africa, obviously Jane Goodall is a senile old bat. I think I already covered this story here earlier this week. This is Manga Bay's uh, spin on this story. In ocean biodiversity hotspots, <clears throat> microplastics come with the currents. <clears throat> Talking about this, uh, how uh, they're in the Mediterranean, how they found 1.9 million pieces of plastic in one square meter of seafloor. The highest concentration of plastic ever recorded on the bottom of the ocean. You will not believe this, guys, but Nicaragua, Nicaragua is failing to, in, to protect it's indigenous groups from land grabs. Wow. While a 2003 law granted land rights to indigenous communities on Nicaragua's Caribbean coast, a new report says the government has failed to implement the law. Forty indigenous people have been killed in clashes since 2015 and thousands more have fled their home as large-scale gold mining, logging, and cattle ranching by powerful investors are worsening the threats against indigenous land. Wow, we have never heard that story before. Okay, anybody who watched the documentary Planet of the Humans will know what this story means. As bioethanol demand, otherwise as dead as the demand for dead trees, as the demand for dead trees rises, biodiversity will fall in the Cerrado. We just talked about uh, soy in the Cerrado. Now we're going to look at sugarcane, an area half the size of Switzerland in Brazil's savanna-like Cerrado biome could see its biodiversity plummet as sugarcane farms expand to meet global demand for bioethanol, a new study says. <clears throat> Researchers calculate that some parts of the Cerrado could see up to 100% loss of mammal species there, endangered animals like the maned wolf will be the most e affected. Uh, the Atlantic forest and the Pantanal wetlands will also be affected. Uh, there you go. All right, this is just kind of Manga Bay reviewing its top 20 stories in April of 2020. Okay, well this finally, th th this tells me, uh, so Manga Bay ran 165 stories in April. Of those 165 stories, 46 of them, over 25% of stories published 
in Manga Bay focused on the impacts of the corona panic on conservation, the environment, or indigenous communities, but nobody read them. Nobody cares. In, in April, 46, 46 stories for anybody who wants to hear how these bullshit economic lockdowns are killing our fellow Earthlings all over this planet. 46 stories uh, that I can send. Doot! But Doot has no interest in hearing these stories because these hopium soaked apocalyptimist do, do not want to hear this. All is good on the planet because of these economic lockdowns according to clueless morons. Oh, anyway, guys, uh, here is a look. Uh, well, this is about the Ebola outbreak, so I can actually cover this story. Uh, <clears throat> Liberia's Ebola outbreak provides a cautionary tale of how powerful industries exploit public health crises for short-term profits. Okay, we do not want to hear about how the economic lockdowns are no excuse for dropping guard against illegal fishing. We do not want to hear about how the economic lockdowns are killing our fellow earthlings in the Philippines. No interest in the subject. But we're going to uh, wind, let, let's just wind up here, guys, since I realize I'm talking to myself at this point. We're going to end up in South Korea. You don't hear much about South Korea. Again, this is any, for anybody who heard about, that, who watched the Planet of the Humans South Korea subsidizing biomass so heavily that wind and solar are being crowded out of the market. The government of South Korea is subsidizing the development of biomass power, otherwise known as burning trees for power, so heavily that it is hindering the adoption of other renewable energy technologies. Uh, according to a report issued by the Seoul-based NGO Solutions for Our Climate, forest biomass is considered a carbon neutral alternative to fossil fuels under Korean law, and the country's government has so aggressively supported the growth of biomass-fueled energy production that it has become one of the most su subsidized energy sources in South Korea. Yes. Uh, there you go. As, of course, Bill McKibben, of course, being a big cheerleader of biomass, of uh, just turning the forest of the world directly in, into biomass, just burning the trees, or just cutting down all the forest, planting sugar cane, and, uh, and, and burning it. Uh, anyway, biomass, give me a break. But anyway, guys, uh, this brings me to the close of uh, my final Manga Bay 
uh, ecological collapse roundup rant, uh, Friday morning rant for the foreseeable future till uh, we figure out what the future is for Collapse Chronicles, uh, which will be blinking off the air on Monday. We'll be going dark. We will see when and if it shall return. But I really do want to thank Rhett Butler. Rhett Butler for being one of the few honest journalists on this planet uh, talking about uh, all of the stories that nobody is talking about. As we all talk about how many humans are going to die of the coronavirus. Bye guys.